<laughs> all right. Hey, everybody. John here. I'm with Rob, Rob Breedlove. That's his official name, Breedlove. I bet he got a lot of heck for that uh, growing up. But um, <laughs> Rob, how long have you been in? He's a student for the Simplest Biz. And yeah. what have you been in? A week? Um, a week and a couple of days. Gotcha. No, 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 it's a, a week since yesterday, actually. Oh, okay. So, yeah. So, <laughs> and Rob's been put, we have a private Facebook group in. For folks who hadn't seen this before, the Simplest Biz is a, is a system that I've been running for the last 21 years. It's a pallet business. If, if, if you haven't seen any of my videos before, it's a simple, straightforward pallet business where we don't have inventory or employees or all the overhead and all the headache. Well, now Rob, on the other hand, he's getting out there this week and I wanted him to kind of go over what's happening. He's He's got a few complicated things happening right now, but they're, they're good problem um, from what I'm reading. So he's been posting in the group and he has some real cliffhanger uh, posts of what's, what's happening with his, with his business in short order. So I wanted to bring him on and share with you guys what, what's happening. So how'd you hear about this to begin with? Let's get, you know, a little about you and how you heard about this and all that. Yeah. Yeah. So one of my buddies, Wade, mm -hmm. um, he way. and I chat all the time. <laughs> right. Right. So, um he and i were chatting and i just said you know wait actually he was telling me about his boys and how they were earning the side income and i said well what's a side income because my wife and i had just been chatting about me maybe earning some more side income right and uh and he said yeah we you know we're making probably fifteen hundred dollars a day and i said that's not side income wait <laughs> i don't know who you've been talking to but that's side not time how about that yeah <laughs> yeah so he explained a little bit about it to me and told me about you and uh -huh. and then I said send me the link and I I'm not, <clears throat> I'm not a excuse me I'm not a course buyer I don't I don't buy courses I usually try and figure it out myself mm -hmm. but in this case I really wanted some guidance and I have time I do digital marketing so I have time that I can jump from here to there and yeah yeah. And, and, and the whole idea, you know, because I know some stuff about the digital realm now as well. And um, I learned about that several years back myself because this business, you know, the simplest biz, it gave me the time to do it. So you'll you'll find out and there's probably maybe some marketers out there uh, that are online marketers out there trying to make it happen. And as you know, Rob, there's a lot to unpack when it comes to digital marketing. And there's a lot of shiny new tool and the next tool that you have to master. And then Google changes its algorithm and Facebook screws everything up. So, you know, it's, it's a, a kind of a long haul type of thing and I'm all for it to believe it or not. But the thing about it is if you had this kind of model and to work with, to help you do it with, without all the pressure, there's a lot of people right. trying to do a nine to five or a marketing thing and, they're having to squeeze it in in the evenings and stuff. So I get it. I'm glad you you stumbled upon this through Wade. So you took the course, and um, did you find that informative to begin with? Yeah, absolutely. So a week ago yesterday, I just it was uh, eight o'clock, mm -hmm. and my sweet wife still doesn't even know that I purchased the course. <laughs> <laughs> okay, but <laughs> I've heard that one before. That's fun. Yeah, but yeah, so I turned it on and started watching the videos. I probably, I had a, a, some clients I had to do some work for, but I was watching all the videos. I uh -huh. sort of just hammered through them. I have that personality type. Right. And then I you hit the road. Taking, yeah. Sounds like you started taking action immediately. Yeah, I'm a big believer. So um, the, when Wade started talking to me about it the Friday before, that's why I, I uh -huh. thought it was the Friday. Um, I decided, you know, I'm going to go out there and look around, see what's nearby. And I saw some pallets here and there and my heart started to palpitate a little bit. And right. so then I bought the course on Monday and while I was watching a few of your videos, I practiced a few of the techniques that you mentioned right. and, um, I just started yeah, seeing, yeah. And it just started coming off the handle for me. It, you know, 
for people who have it, you know, this this business is a little bit out of left field. It's not the norm. It's not Amazon drop shipping no. or or a landscaping business or anything. It's a niche that people don't see, but there's so much of it. It could have been right under your nose all these years, but until you hear me talk about it, that's when everything starts like, oh wow, oh there it is, and there it is, it's here and here and here. And yeah. nobody notices it. So people watching this, take note. If you're like interested in this or looking into it, next time you go to the store, next time you're out running around, start looking because these things are going to start popping up everywhere and you didn't realize it before. And, and like there's two billion of them, like we said. So where's the, what's the first place, uh, not the first place, but what was your first day like? What was your strategy? Um, I live in Southern California. Yeah. And there's a million people in my backyard, it feels like. and Anyways, I probably live in the wrong state, but I live here and I'm proud to live here. Somewhere. Right. I have a day job. Um, I have six kids and I'm the sole breadwinner. I just wanted to say that so there wasn't any excuses. <laughs> no, that makes it where you, you know, I find out the people that actually get off to a fast start are people who are in a situation where I got to make this happen. Yeah. You know, trying to reinvent the wheel or they got some pressure, you know, six kids. I'm from a family of 10, by the way. I'm the oh, last of 10. So, uh, nice. you know what causes <laughs> that, right? <laughs> I do. Yeah. I got you. So, got you. yeah. So, my first day, I started at like 3.30 and mm -hmm. I went to a hurry company. Mm -hmm. This is nearby. And they're like, yeah, we got a few. And I got a little excited. And then I stopped into this place. It was my third stop. And they just said, Oh yeah, you need pallets or, or we need pallets. You provide them. And, right. and I felt, I just followed your recipe is what I did. Mm -hmm. And, um, I said, yeah, how many do you need? And they said, we need a hundred a month. And okay. Thought, All right. It. So you're thinking you're going out there for supply at first, right? You're getting buyers all day at first too, <laughs> which is not a bad problem to have. You just, we show you how to kind of handle that. Yeah. You gotta, yeah. So, you gotta juggle um, a little bit at the beginning. Yeah, so, and, and I follow what you said, and I think you said this, but Wade had told me that the people that we talk to are like, they're genuine. It's not like a secretary that shuts you down. They, they'll just talk to you to say hi. You're breaking up the monotony of their day. Yeah, for sure. So that was, I'm used to, in a sales process, you got to break through the gatekeeper, and then mm -hmm. this was not like it at all. So the first day was uh, basically just a little bit of a taste. And I thought, man. And then they, they actually said, hey, you know, we've got this huge pile of boxes. Can you get rid of those for us? Let me check and let me check my sources too. But I just want to, I got to make, make this fit. Right, and, right. Perfect. And that was the first day. The second day was probably the, the day that I really ramped it. Uh-huh. But the first day I now, spent. Did your wife know you're going out doing this? What? You said you kind of kept it. She does. She does. Okay. She knows that I'm doing it. Okay, gotcha. And, uh, so I am, and I'm consulting yeah, with absolutely. you and Aiden and everyone else. Okay. So, go. Yeah. Okay, so day two. Let's see if I can. I got my list here. Day two, I just keep a check sheet with me. Right. And so on the first day, I, w I visited three places, and the third one was like, hey, yeah, we'll take 100 a month. Okay. And they said, what, what's your pricing? And I said, what for? Right. And I'll, whatever right. it is. Because like you explain in your videos, you know, it's real easy to beat it when you get your supply for free. Absolutely. So the second day I went to seven, eight, eight different places. And okay. I, I, was, I started at 7.30 and I wanted to be done by 11. Because um, you got I, your other business going on still. So you're trying to just. Yeah. Get out there and knock yeah. some out. I got you. Well, I had an issue. The issue is I get pretty excited and I, when those hey, back. It's like a treasure hunt. I love it. <laughs> yes, I, I know the feeling. I really do. <laughs> yeah, it is. And and when people are nice to you, I mean, one guy said, hey, you can have my pallets if you just give me beer. <laughs> I said, man, I can do that. <laughs> <laughs> but now it's beer. I love it. Okay, that's funny. <laughs> Yeah, so um, my first one I went to was a, a, a big place, and they were a supplier. Right. And I actually went and talked to them today and, okay. uh, and worked out a deal with them. I have buyers now. Yeah, so that was my first one. He, they get about 50 to 60 pallets a week. That's, you yeah. know, that's, that's quite a few in a year. So, um, yeah. 
which translates into a lot, a lot of money in a year as well. I've always liked the fact that, you know, once you get these accounts, it's an ongoing type of thing. It's not like I'm getting 50 here and now I got to find the next 50. This Once you find a place, you're going to serve them right. You get the 50 each week after week after week. And you'll, you'll plant places that are 300 week after week after week and 400. And well, we know what happened today. We'll get to that in a minute, but yeah, it, you're right. You're exactly it's right. It's an ongoing, it. Yeah. It's an ongoing supply, ongoing mm-hmm. demand. I was a little bit skeptical. Wade said, uh, he's Irish for anybody that doesn't know Wade. Right. And um, he, he said when he got here to the U.S., they told him to get into trucking because without trucking, the, you know, the United States was shut down, which in a sense is true. But he said to me that was a based lie after I met with John. I realized it was pallets, not trucking, because mm. everything shipped on pallets. Not everything, but there's a lot. So I did some my own research that weekend before I purchased. And I told my wife what I was going to get into. I didn't tell her I was going to pay to get into it, but wow. I told her I was going to get into it. And she started looking up and, and okay. she said, yeah, yeah, this could be a big deal. You know, everybody needs them or wants to get rid of them. Right. So my second one I went to, they were actually a buyer and a supplier. Love it. Those Makes are my vision. Yeah. So he wants a hundred a month of a, a certain size okay. and he gets rid of about 60 a month of the 48 by eight. Okay. Perfect. So, but he, his son is the manager at a huge warehouse. Oh, okay. So I learned sales real quick. So I ran over and got lunch and came back and, um, we had lunch and I, and he said, and I said, what, what can I do? I need to talk to your son too. And he's right. like, Oh Yeah. I already sent him your card. Just he's he's looking for you. Just head on over there. Wonderful. So, so I got a little sidetracked. Uh-huh. Uh huh. So I ended up with uh, next one was a supplier. They got forties and they were a buyer too. Mm-hmm. They needed extra sort of a weird pallet size. Through the training, we're teaching folks, the people out there, how there's a, a large variety to be able to help these businesses out. And the fact that we were able to move a large variety makes us, ends up making us the exclusive for that supply as well. So those are all the things you need to learn to, to make it work. Yeah, yeah. so uh, the next thing I talked to was, he said, yeah, I need 100 a week heat treated. Okay. I told him, no problem. So I knew, hey, this is gonna be easy. I'll just beat everything that they have. So by the way, there are two pallet yards within four miles. Uh-huh, who cares? I got more business. Yeah, I got more business than I could shake a stick at. <laughs> I tell you, who cares? It doesn't matter. That's how yeah. I that's how I do it. I just want to do it, get done, and honey, what's on the honey do list and take care of that. That's what For sure. that's what my <laughs> life consists of. So this is day two still, right? This is day two. Uh let's see, I found one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight buyers out of nine. Wow. So, yeah. I So I was quickly, Wade had told me, he said, Rob, my issue is I found a ton of suppliers. I just didn't know where to look for the buyers. And then I took John's counsel and I started finding them. And these guys are coming. I went to a whole bunch of different places. And not only that, I follow what you said about, you know, apps and so forth. And uh, I sort of made a targeted area. That's what you should do. Yeah, yeah. I'm always like, I'm always trying to make my circles get tighter and tighter and tighter to where I'm literally, in some cases, 300 yards away from my buyer. Now, that's ridiculous, I know. And some of my times are across the street because I want to be as efficient as possible with them. No travel yeah. time. I, I burn some days about 15 cents in gas, you know, <laughs> doing it because <laughs> I'm in one little spot. I'm a, it's crazy. So that's yeah. smart. That's a smart way of looking at it and smart way of, of going about it. It will pay dividends for time freedom as you move forward. Yeah. And they're not all that way, but so yeah. far, I mean, that's what I came away with. And I have, we can talk about this, but I have one in the next building over. Nice. One's a supplier and the other one's yeah. a Yeah, love it. That's, a good, that's it. <laughs> so. I've been living yeah, it, man. So. I know, that's wonderful. It's a good thing. It is, it's a great thing. So I started making this, I got my whiteboard out and I was like, okay, I'm not gonna, you know, I, I have nothing over here and a ton over here. What am I right. going to do? And, and I just dedicated time three hours every morning mm-hmm. for the whole week last week. So I finally went to the referral 
Mm-hmm. We won't mention it. They, <laughs> it's big. <laughs> they want 3000 a week. No doubt. Yeah. That's life changing, man. Yeah. Yeah. So I, I was like, Oh, okay. I mean, in my mind, my mind was exploding. <laughs> I was like, what? Oh my gosh. But my face is just looking at him smiling going, mm-hmm. yeah, sure. Right. But yeah, yeah. That's a that's way to construct it. Yeah. Yeah. That's a great way. Well, so John, he actually said, Hey, look, if you can get me a deal on these, mm-hmm. I'll introduce you to my buddy. And I said, I'll get you a deal. Whatever you're paying, I'll, I'll get you a better deal. Right. So he's, he says, Oh, well, hang on. He pulls out his phone and he says, Hey, Jose, um, I got a guy here who can get you a deal. Can you talk to him? So I went over to him and he said, well, I only need 2000 a week. <laughs> and I was like, Oh, good. Well, one only one needs 3000. You only need 2000. That's a way better, you know, anyways, I I'm, uh, I've been to see them both. It's been less than a week. And I keep telling, I told him, Hey, my brain was racing. Right. But like you said in your training, and I hope this doesn't give it away to anybody, but it basically just move forward, right? Yeah. Possibilities show themselves as you move forward. Until you make your first step, nothing happens. That's right. Half the battle, they're not half the battle. You got to know your stuff. You got to know which questions to ask. And all like we're, we've shown in the training, getting out there and having the conversations, you got, you got a good way about yourself anyway as well. So you combine that with what you've learned in the course, our competition, I don't know if you've seen some of them yet. It's pretty, yeah. it's pretty bad. It so is folks out there. This is, you can do this. Now, if, if you're super shy or stilted or, cause you're going to have to deal with some people, but we're dealing with normal folks. This is not like some board meeting that we're having with these individuals and these businesses. Yeah. So I can't even fathom the numbers you're talking about at this point, a weekend. It's, I mean, I know it's not all put together, but no, you are talking hundreds of thousands of dollars a year, hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of thousands of dollars a year. Man, I'm really um, happy for you, for one. And I know you're, like you said, week one, week two, your head is spinning and it should be a little bit, but these are good problems to have. Even if part of it falls through this, any other, the, the fact that you're able, even without these big deals that you're talking about, the other ones on their own, you mentioned a figure of $8,000 a month or something, I think. Yeah, like, um, when I combine like them last all, week, though. yeah, when I combine them all, it's like $120,000 of revenue. That's what I was going to tell you, per month, right? But it's going to take me some time. Right. I'm going to have to do, you know, you'll probably have to consult with me and help me on that, but I'm going to figure out a way. But in the meantime... People that need a hundred a month, they're everywhere. They're right. everywhere. They're everywhere. And so you want me to tell you, can we talk about what happened? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> so yesterday, one of my buddies said, Hey, call you. I followed your video and asked my right. friends. And one of my buddies, Hey, call these guys. I didn't call. I just drove over there. Smart. I didn't even mention my buddy's name because okay. he's their attorney. I didn't know if that'd be good or bad. So, uh-huh. uh, so I just went up to him, same way, exactly how you say how to do it in the videos. And the guy was like, well, yeah, I need help. What are you buying? And I said, what do you need? And he says, I, I'm, I need more. And I said, okay, how many do you need? 300 a week. Nice. Again, here we are, another buyer. Mm. I was happy, but at the same time, I was like, You're right. oh God, I need some supply, right? Yeah, I was like, Lord, please help me. I got to find supplies. <laughs> so, so yesterday, this is yesterday, um, and I solidified it a little more today. But yesterday, I, I was like, I got to stop looking for buyers. I got to find suppliers. And I went from one place to the next, another buyer, found someone who didn't have. And then I just, it was coming to the end of my three hours. And I thought, come on. Uh-huh. Okay, God, I need some help here. And, and wait a minute, I wanted to say, uh, he's writing all this in a text in there. It's like a novel, you know, inside the group. And I'm going, you know, it's, it's actually pretty enthralling how the way he's writing it. I'm like on Razor's Edge. Okay, what happened, Rob? Anyway, go ahead. <laughs> yeah. So um, I just had this feeling. I was like, like I can't give up. I'm going to put a little more energy in and I'm going to look at the area of this uh, buyer Mm-hmm. Just as down the street from me. Um, all the other guys, they're about 15 minutes away. But this guy, they're like five minutes away from my Got house. You. And there's a home D five minutes from my house too. So it's a good thing. 
So I thought, okay, I'm just going to give this around. So I went in, I walked into this warehouse. They had a ton of trucks. And I went in and everybody has these colored vests, you know, the bright colored vests on. And, and this guy comes up, he's like, where's your vest, buddy? And I said, I, I left it. Can you get me a new one? Yeah. And said, yeah, yeah, come on over here. I don't know if they showed you. You must be new. They're over here. And I said, <laughs> I said I'm new. I'm really new. <laughs> That's hilarious. Okay, go so ahead. He got me a vest. And then I said, hey, I need the warehouse manager. Uh-huh. Oh, okay. Well, come over here and talk to Tyson. Right. So I walk over to Tyson. And I said, Tyson, hey. He says, are you here to pick up this, 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 and that? And I said, no, I'm a pallet guy. Mm-hmm. My name's Rob. Right. He says, where have you been? And I said, it just took me a while to get here. I'm sorry. Um, I had no idea what he was talking about. Right, right. And, and I, he said, we have so many pallets. We can't, can't can keep you, up. Yeah, we can't keep up. Mm-hmm. Which gave me some thoughts for down the road too, by right. the way. But um, anyway, so we talked and he said, hey, we have about 100 to 150 a day. Right. Well, he said 100 to 150, and I said, yeah, I can handle that. Yeah. And I was thinking a week. I was right. super excited. And then he said, well, can, what day, you know, what time each day can you come get them? And I said, well, you want them picked up every day? And he said, well, 150 a day gets big, and it fills up the area fast. Yeah, we okay. don't have then you feel like, oh, okay. Now all these buyers are going, oh, hey, oh. <laughs> it's oh, like, my gosh, John. It. John, my mind is going, okay, now you can go here and you can go there and let's go here. And, and I looked and like my buyer that wanted 300, uh-huh. I was waving to him. <laughs> he was across the street. <laughs> I waved to him. He's like, hey, hey, Rob, you know, and I was waving to him. And so now you're going to be, oh, uh, you might have to circle the block. Yeah, yeah. I'm going to have to go around the back way and then come back or something. I don't That's know what I'm going to do. I love it. Um, so... He said, you got to talk to the upper management though. And I mm-hmm. said, okay. So I messaged you because I was all excited yesterday. Right. And I went back first thing this morning at 7.30 mm-hmm. and talked to the same dude. He said, oh, oh, go talk to Nadia. I already told her about you. She's waiting for you. So I talked to Nadia and Nadia says, okay, we've gone through six pallet guys mm-hmm. in the last three months. And I was like, okay, well, let's solve this issue. Let's make this the last one you have to go to. And she said, we need someone that we can load up every day. You can't pick up till 1 p.m. because the shipments all come in from 4 a.m. to noon. Yeah. And I said, okay. And she said, seven days a week, we're going to have 150 to 250 pallets every day. Right. I, okay. We do this solo, but when it's situations like this, there's more than enough money involved to, to get some help. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, for sure. And I've already put the word out to some of my friends. Okay. Um, there's in our church congregation, there's a few people, like a couple of folks that are looking for okay. some work. So I already put the word out and and I think that's going to be, you know, in fact, I was talking to Wade because I'm leaving on vacation in two or three weeks. We're going up back up to Utah to see all my family. Mm-hmm. And um, anyways, so, oh my goodness. And then they said, she said the exciting thing. She said, I don't know how much you charge to take all these away. And <laughs> Gotcha. I love she it. She said, okay. She's like, I think we can, I, I think we'll want to go. With so her upper management already emailed me uh-huh. and I'm just, I'm waiting for it. They said it'll probably take, it's going to be a two week process. Okay, sure. But, um, they, That's kind of good right now, trying to get your ducks in a row. Yeah, yeah. So I called Wade and I was like, Wade, what am I supposed to do? And he's like, you're just calling to brag. And <laughs> said, no, no, I'm not trying to brag. I just need oh, some I gotta figure this out, right. And, and get this. So this is what I'd love to talk to you about. They have more Gaylord boxes than you could shake a stick at. And they want to get rid of all of them. And I, I need to go watch the videos again, but right. I got to figure out where to get rid of them too. So. Right. Yeah, and there's a whole section on that. And for people, again, people, you know, some, this might be the first video you've watched about this business model, um, but there's a lot more to it than just pallets. There's crates and drums and dunnage and 
uh, corrugated boxes and Gaylord boxes, industrial bags and tanks. And I mean, there's so much other stuff that, that can be layered on top of this. So, and brokering, we're passive income. So you can get it, you talk about that, you know, uh, you'll see that in other videos. But I just, uh, I think we've overwhelmed everybody so far with what's going on. And I can assure you, uh, I didn't pay Rob to say what he's saying. <laughs> no, he no, I paid you. <laughs> <laughs> he did. He paid me. <laughs> um, but he's out there making it happen. Truly exciting. I'm happy for you. Um, well, John, listen, let me tell you, let me tell everyone that's watching. The possibilities are endless. It doesn't matter if you live in a small town USA or big town. My heat treated guys, the want heat treated pallets. Mm -hmm. These guys, all their shipments come from overseas, so everything's heat treated. Perfect. And those pallets go for, I'm oh, selling them for 12 bucks a pallet. Exactly, exactly. Yeah, and yeah. It, it's everywhere. And if you just open your mind, eyes and you're willing to ask, like, you know, I talked to this one guy and he said, hey, since you're getting rid of this, these pallets for me, I got this over here and that over there and, you know, and then to yesterday, one of my clients says, I need that very thing. And I was like, Perfect. hey, I got three, three pallets of it every right. month. How much do right. you need? And that's just a matter of like, here, I'll just pick it up over here and drop it over there. And point A to point B. It's, a, it's unreal, unreal. And I haven't even tapped, I mean, a week, a no. week. I'm, I'll, I will tell you and I'll tell everyone else this, it takes action. If you're not willing to take action, then you could buy every course in the world, right? And, you know, and it just won't happen. But if you, if you take action, then the little things, you know. I, I mean, I got I had a guy call me today. He says I need fifty. So and, and what will start happening with that as well, Rob? These smaller ones. When I'm doing a larger run, I always can swing by on the way to the larger run and drop that fifty off, and then right because I've been doing it a long time as well. And, and yeah. people out there do the same thing. And then my supplier for the other 100 or 70 that I need are two doors down from there. And I just keep going. So yeah. it, it's, I'm trying to think of the best way to help people understand it. It's, it's like a wheel, you know, and, and there's spokes to all the, the wheel. And if you go through the training, it will teach you how to start piecing this all together. And it's, it's, it is exciting. It's fun, man. Especially when you're getting paid to get this to rid of that stuff. You got a buyer for it as, as well. I mean, it's a lot of gravy in this thing. So, there is. Man, I appreciate you spending time with me. We're going to have to be talking a little bit more in the, in the next couple of days as well with what's going on with you. But just keep at it, man. And I appreciate you sharing in the group. It's the same everywhere, people. And if you can take action like Rob has and, and investigate this, what we're talking about a little bit on your own and do a little due diligence, and if it makes sense to you, there's no reason you can't uh, be doing the same thing. And it's no reason. And that's why right. I love teaching this because it's kind of a, you know, under the radar type situation. And um, I'm, I'm getting to expose people and watch people as yourself in short order make things happen. And I appreciate it. Yeah. You betcha. I mean, there's, you, you know, in my area alone, there could probably be five of me and mm -hmm. it wouldn't affect either one of us. It wouldn't yeah. affect any of us. The truth is like, there's so much available. So uh, you mentioned this a little bit in the course, but I'll tell everyone this, that you just said it a few minutes ago, like I can hire someone to do it for me. Mm -hmm. There's nothing wrong with that. I can no. hire someone. If I, if I don't have time or if I need to go and even Wade was telling me, Hey, Rob, it's um, now my one that's providing every day and I got to pick up from them. If I was solely doing that, then I couldn't walk away from it because they need me every day. But it's large enough, like you said. Right. You want to go out of town, you can arrange that or you can, you know, find an individual and pay them a percentage or by the hour. Um, yeah. You get large deals like that. I have a guy who does it for me on, on Fridays and um, his name's Daniel. And I mean, literally he could do it every day. But y'all seen in my videos, I'm trying to dodge my wife's honeydew list. So I like getting out and doing it. Plus, I'm, <laughs> I'm close to my, my clients and become tight over 21 years. They've watched me grow old doing this. So I, I like seeing them on a weekly basis. And, you, you know, people, that's the kind of people we're dealing with. So absolutely, as, as your business grows and you come across opportunities like that, it makes perfect sense 
to have somebody else as a maybe maybe even a couple you know guys out in houston that same thing happened to them out in houston and they're tickling a million dollars this year they hired on some people and plus there's three of them so uh when it makes sense do it absolutely yeah 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 yeah, for sure all right well i'm uh, we'll let you go and get back to your i know you've got your other gig to be doing right now as well that time of day but i appreciate your time and um thank y'all for listening if y'all have any questions, want to get more information, go to, to the simplest biz for you.com, F O R the letter U.com. And if you like this video, thumb up, subscribe, get other ones, you know, if, uh, if you're seeing this on YouTube and we'll go from there, Rob, let's talk this evening or tomorrow and we'll, we'll go over some of the stuff that's going on. Okay. Yeah, absolutely. And pre appreciate it. I appreciate it much. Good talking to you, John. All right. Bye-bye. Okay. Bye.